Hey, what's up? What's going on, everybody? You have now tuned in to my Black and Crew recap. Guys, make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet done so and share this video wherever you like to share videos. So let's talk about our shout outs real quick. So shout out to TDCR, who was like, hate Donna, hate Sky, hate Duchess, and now hating Kitty. Oh, and hate Caesar too. Okay, well, you just freaking hate everybody, I see. Well, that's okay, though. It's all right. <laughs> I guess you don't gotta love none of them. It's all right. Um, Masha Alveson was like, Donna is being sour and Duchess is just always trying to look like a victim. I'm tired of her. And I totally understand what you're saying because, yeah, a lot of times Duchess does try to look like the victim, especially now that we find out that she could have had a dude on the side while she was talking to, to Caesar all this time. So it kind of makes her look like she was just in this for, like, the fame and the you know, just to kind of get her name out there. And that's really messed up if that was the case after giving him such a hard time. So let's talk about it. So we back, we start off at the stupid fight that they was having from last time where the one girl, she put the mace in the other girl's face. Pretty much Duchess put the mace in um, this girl's face. But it didn't really go in her eyes or anything like that, which is exactly what she had told Caesar like later on in the episode that it didn't really go in her eyes. Um, and she, quote unquote, was trying to whoop her. I don't know. That just seemed like kind of like, I don't know, like Kitty don't seem like the fighting type to me. She seemed like the pretty girl that's trying to be hood, that's trying to show up and show out. And then at the end of the day, like, I felt like that was kind of BS too, because for Duchess to be getting all upset that this chick went to her house, why did you answer the door? Like, why did you let her in? I know for me, if I don't like somebody or if I feel some type of way about them, I'm not going to let them into my house. You know what I mean? So I just felt like that whole, that whole thing was like stupid. It didn't really make any sense to me. I'm not going to invite somebody that I don't care for into my house. Like, there's so many ways that you can have a conversation. You can email someone. You can DM them on Instagram. You can do an Insta story. You can do a Snapchat story. You can do a Facebook story. You can, you can freaking message them. You can, inst you can Facebook Live them. You know, there's, there's, you can still Skype. Like, Skype is still there, people. You can FaceTime them. <laughs> there are so many different ways that you can have a conversation with somebody without having them come to your house. So, I don't know. Like, I don't see why she was so tight that the girl was saying what she had to say because you allowed her to come into your house. All right, so... Caesar, he was looking for the perfect spot. I'm sorry. Y'all probably hear it even louder because I have the microphone on, but I'm thirsty, y'all. My allergy is still a little funky. They're not as bad. Like, I'm not all clogged up, but I feel it in my throat. Y'all can probably hear it a little bit. I should do a commercial for Poland Springs. Uh, anyway, so Caesar, he's looking for the perfect spot for his little opening that he's having for his new Black Ink Atlanta tattoo shop that he's having. And I guess this is a good way because if they do a show on it, this is like capitalizing like two ways. You're going to have two shows, you know what I mean? So that's a way to earn more income. So now uh, he was looking for the spot and he ends up finding like this big, big spot down in Atlanta. And I'm like, you know what? At the end of the day, that spot was beautiful. Like it was really, really big. And I'm like, damn, he's gonna have to have like a large staff. And that's a whole lot of space for Sky to get herself in trouble in. Because we all know Sky cannot behave herself. I would be surprised if everything runs smoothly with Sky being the manager. I mean, just being really honest with you guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then I thought for a second that Duchess and and Caesar was cool, but then I remembered that the last thing that happened was not the Puerto Rico trip where they were where they seemed pretty cordial. No, no, no. Later on, he found out that Duchess could have possibly been playing him the whole entire time. So yeah, he's vexed about it, and he let it be known when she called him to tell him to not have his little friends come to her house and this and that. So she was just saying that pretty much and then he was just like saying what he had to say about how she was this and she was that and calling her all kind of dirty memes and I felt like she wasn't really like denying anything like was that just me or did they cut something out but I didn't hear her say what are you talking about or 
that's not me or why would you even believe that like it just seemed like she was just going with whatever it was that he was saying and kind of like taking ownership of it so that was pretty interesting to see um but yeah he wasn't really trying to talk to her anyway or have any real type of conversation with her donna and sky they have like a little chat or whatever and Donna says that she acted the way she did because she was hurt. And I'm like, didn't we hear this already? Like, this is the same sob story playing the violins that you did when you first found out that she was going to be a manager at Atlanta. You was acting out. And then y'all had a little talk in the back. You calmed down. You started crying. And then you started doing the same thing, but even worse, because you tried to sabotage her through... Caesar and say that she wasn't really worthy of that position so I'm just like I'm surprised that Sky really accepted her apology I'm like is it that you don't have many friends like real legit friends because I don't understand why you allow this girl to come back into your life when she did try to play you she tried to throw you under the bus and she was driving the bus with a big smiley face on. So like nah. That's not somebody that you could really trust at the end of the day. But I guess because they all work together. Or they all black ink members. Family whatever. I guess that's why she allows her. But I'm like you know. I really thought Sky would have been a little bit stronger than that. And she ends up giving her an invitation. To come down to the opening at Atlanta. So Donna kind of felt like, wow, she didn't even know that I was going to do this. And she already had like the faith in me to bring this. So, you know, I guess it was like an eye opening experience for her. Supposedly, she felt hurt that she was like not the first to know and that Sky is willing to leave her. And it's just whatever. Like you said this already. If you ain't do what you did, you wouldn't have to say the same thing that you said before. Richard, he left for love because we already know his girl left him. She went back to Cali. I mean, I feel like she got her issues. Yes, you know, she she has lupus. She lost her, ba her baby. So that's a miscarriage, and that can definitely take a toll on you. And then she does have a kid, and it's kind of making her look like a bad mother because she, like, pretty much up and left her kid to be on the show with Richard. Um, so it, it kind of makes her look bad and then, you know, losing your child and then you're not with your other child that just kind of probably is hitting her hard. But I don't know. I just feel like it was still kind of messed up at the end of the day that she just up and left like that, like didn't really give him any warning or anything, just kind of left just like, oh, I already have my ticket the day before. You know, I just felt like that was a little bit shady because, you know, like the stuff that he went through and how he's counting on you as well. And if he wasn't really serious about him and stuff like that, I felt like she shouldn't have married him right away. And I don't know. I just felt like it was just kind of messed up the way that she kind of left him. I feel like she should have tried a little bit harder or at least asked him to try to come with her. Like she didn't even extend an invite from what I remember to like, would you like to come with me because I got to go see my child or, you know, anything like that. I mean, I understand like she went through a tough time and she wants to be with her family or whatever, but still he's your family now too. So yeah, like that just kind of like, it, was, it just seemed a little messed up to me. Carly read she's hanging out with Caesar in Atlanta. Of course, she had to make her appearance and, you know, show a little hoism on the show. And she just kind of invites him into the pool so they could talk about business and how he needs a businesswoman in his life without the drama. I'm like, she's the last person to be talking about. She don't have no drama because she's one of the biggest drama starters ever. And she tells him to come into the water. But you know what? He was not trying to come into the water. He's like, nah. And I'm like, he is definitely doing the chick move right now. Because, you know, normally when chicks got on their wigs or their weaves or whatever, they ain't trying to go in the water because they know that either it could fall off or it might show their tracks or it's going to mess up their hair that took hours to blow dry and get that little shape or whatever. And it might have been a stylist that did it. And they ain't trying to do it themselves, you know? So... But I feel like if he would have went into the water, you see how his beard was looking slayed. Like it was like real neat, but it looked extra dark. I'm like, yo, if he would have went into the water, it probably would have started melting off. Like the dye would have probably started bleeding, you know, leaking. <laughs> I was like, yo, that's probably the reason why. I mean, I don't know. I can't confirm it. 
nor deny it. But I'm just saying, to me, that's how it kind of looked. And he kept on, like, he was real persistent about not going into the water. And then when he went to the water, he was, like, keeping himself, like, straight up. You know, like, not trying to let himself touch the water at all. And then when they was getting it on and popping and busy or whatever... They went into the like the sauna room or the spa room, whatever the hell it's called, you know, the, the little steam room instead of like staying out into the water and getting it on and popping it out there. So I don't know, but that's what I was kind of thinking. So we meet the chick that I guess 50 Cent, he ended up like, from what I was gathering, I don't really know the story too well. I kind of heard about it before 50 Cent like had a sex tape with somebody or something like that and then he put it out. Because he was having some some beef with Rick Ross. So she got a hefty little bit of coins, right? So she was pretty much talking to Duchess, kind of coaching her, telling her to get her coins as well. So Duchess is just like, you know, listening, taking it in. Duchess also did a nice little... My throat, y'all. Duchess did like a nice little party for her. I mean, a party for her. It's a water, y'all. You would have thought I, would, I had some vodka in this bottle. Duchess did a nice little tattoo for her, like, right on her chest. It was looking cute. It was pretty simple, but it was cute. I guess showing that she's a queen or something like that, whatever. Um, then Sky, she goes and gets her JJ bedazzled right before she's supposed to be going to the opening of the event that she's supposed to be managing. Like, I felt like, girl, you got to get your priorities straight. Like, at the end of the day, nobody's going to see that. Just make sure your hair, your nails, your face is popping and, you know, slayed to the gods. And you're good to go. Like, nobody, who is going down there? Like, what was the point of getting all that done at that very moment? Like, you know, like, come on. You got to know what you're supposed to be doing and when. So, I guess they ended up missing their flight. Because she took so long because it's very it's a very meticulous task where you have to like place it and make sure you cover each section and stuff like that. Like me, I got a little flat flat on my stomach, so I couldn't even say like, oh, let me go ahead and put some bling bling on the JJ. Like it's not going to look cute. Like you want to see a flap and then or what they call it. Damn, I forgot the word that they call it on basketball wives a falupa or some shit like that i don't remember but anyways you gonna have one of those like a little stomach or whatever and then you gonna see the bling like hiding under there that ain't cute but she's skinny so she can do stuff like that and plus she got her thing her thing thing rejuvenated so she good but yeah i just felt like it was not the right time for that she got walter out there waiting and they kept on they didn't get ready or they wasn't out until 30 minutes before the flight. So, yeah, they ended up missing pretty much everything when they got finally to the party. And um, the party, I mean, it was like a red carpet hood event because nobody was really dressed up from what I saw. Like, everybody looked like they was going to, like, a regular house party. Like, you know, like... A, a little bit of an upscale house party. Like, it's not a house party in the hood. It's a, out, it's a house party, like, outside the hood. <laughs> but not a gated community, because then they be dressing up, like, in the middle of the two. So, yeah, um, they had the party, and Kitty got mad because he was flirting with, like, mad girls and kissing random chicks and on the lips. And he was just, like, kind of wasted and just being a little sloppy. You know, even Donna was like, damn, like anybody could do him for a promotion tonight. But he, I think he was still sober enough to say, you know, I don't want to do Donna. Cause Donna do everybody. I mean, mm -mm. I mean, I wouldn't even do Donna, to be honest. I mean, I might flirt a little something, but doing Donna, nah. She done been around too many places. I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, so Kat... She sees all of this, and they end up having, like, a little, like, he puts cake on her face. Like, we want some of my cake. And then she puts the cake on his face. And it was just, like, a dirty experience. And me, personally, I'm not with all that dirtiness. Like, I don't like sticky stuff touching my hands, touching my feet. I don't like cake in my face. You can maybe put a little bit on my nose because I can wipe that off really quickly. But other than that, all that smearing around, getting it in your hair, your face your eyes, all of that, mm -mm. no, you can miss me with that, because I'll start getting serious, I do not like that stuff, um, and what happened after that, they pretty much, 
that was pretty much it. Like, like I said, these people, they ended up coming late because of Sky. Sky and Walter ended up coming late. Um, like, so late that the party was over. And then this woman comes to where they was at. And she's like, congratulations, Caesar. She gives him this nice fruit basket. And he goes to read the card. Once he reads the card out loud, he realizes it's from, um, it's from Duchess. And it's not a congratulation type of gift. No, it's actually, I'm going to see you in court and I'm going to get half of everything you own type of thing. So, of course, he gets pissed off about that. And the woman, like she rehearsed, was like, you've been served. After she was like, congratulations. Like, I felt like she needed to get slapped because she was doing the most right there. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like that would have totally pissed me off. Like, don't come up in here pretending like, no, no, because you're giving me bad news right now, but I don't want to hear it. And so, yeah, he was pissed off about that. And I was trying to figure out, like, was this the season finale? Because the way they ended things, it was like, you know, like when you kind of reflect on a season and say the things that you learned or what made you grow or things like that. But then the way that it ended, it just kind of seemed like there was something else that was supposed to happen. But I thought I had heard that this was the season finale. I guess I could be wrong, but I'm not sure. But if you guys know, let me know down below. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. This was the second time I had to record this because I recorded it and I accidentally deleted it like a dum-dum. That's why I like changing my hair up before I do different recordings because the other one that I did for Empire, I had on the same hairstyle and the same, you know, makeup and everything. So I thought I was deleting that one after I uploaded it. And no, I deleted this one. So that freaking sucks. But I did it like a G and now I'm going to finish up my catfish. So be sure to stay fabulous, live free, and soar limitless. I'll see you in the next one. Laters.